What in the heck is this? So I'm gonna drive this thing. Okay, I'm gonna floor it a little bit. Oh man. back at copar guys what's up my name is rusty welcome back to another video the sun is kind of going down so it's going to be kind of hard to film some stuff but guess what guess where i'm looking at the volvo and that one red truck right there is still there it's still not up for sale i'm not sure why they still have not sold them i'm actually going to look at that white volvo again and i'm looking around for a little bit of projects i've gone out of my way from some trips and i'm kind of tired of driving so i kind of want to buy something already and i am still looking for a pickup truck so let's find something here's our first contestant we have a 2009 ford f350 super duty looks like it is damaged in the back it's not bad no bad i pulled up my app right here and looks like we got a clean title 300 000 miles oh man uh run and drive 6.4 not bad i mean if it runs good it runs good right i mean 300k but i don't know man kind of sketchy buying a ford nowadays let's see if it starts why not typical ford ripped everything crew cab Oh wow, the back seats are actually very nice. Not bad, not bad. Put your bets in now to see if it starts. We got power. Yep, 300K. Oh wow, it actually started. It's nice, but I don't know. Seems kind of sketchy. Too much miles. Yep, this Volvo is still here. If you guys do remember, this was actually the Volvo that I recorded last time I was here. It has some sort of rear end damage. The tank was damaged. And then the front end, the actual hood is actually right here. I mean, you can tell back in the day, somebody's been changing something out. All these new studs here. I don't know if I'm really more serious about it. I'll check it out even more, but eh, I don't know kind of more focused on my brand new volvo rebuild don't really want to deal with another big semi right now i have a question for all you guys that do copart and rebuilds why are the prices so high i had a bunch of people stating to me why the prices are so high is because of me well not actually me but youtubers that actually record all this copart stuff and uh, get people involved in actually buying all of these auction cars from aia or copart they're telling us it's our fault but i understand why they're saying that because prices rise because we're actually telling everybody to buy these cars, what a good deal, blah, 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 blah. We got a 2017 Toyota 86 base model. This is like a Subaru version of a Scion Toyota, whatever you wanna call it. Looks pretty clean. I got my app out and guess what? Mechanical damage, 22K miles, clean title. Interesting, interesting. Why? I don't know. Probably because it's a Subaru engine, probably has a raw knock looks clean we do got damage quarter panel we got front bumper damage over there definitely a kid's car smells like marijuana up in here they be smoking that devil's lettuce you know what i'm saying oh yep definitely it's automatic definitely a little kid been driving this i think it starts put on the brake nothing yep i was right boxer engine toyota subaru boxer that's interesting yeah i, I know that, that the toyota was sharing this engine for a bit but I'm not sure why it doesn't start could make a good project for somebody oh poor dump truck got rolled over didn't you poor thing oh man the cap smashed i mean these things are pretty durable yeah i wouldn't mind a infinity right now just something luxury something fast to drive around 2018 infinity 20,000 miles on it state farm is selling it driver's side front i mean looks pretty bad they taped off this door probably this pillar is hit the suspension is definitely hit the rim is hit i mean it doesn't look too bad though if i can look under there control arm is still there the shock is still there 
everything's pretty much there except the only scary part if this pillar has been moved you got to put this thing on a frame machine which i do not have i'm looking for something something less something less than that i'm getting kind of distracted right now looking at all these nice cars i want something fast and nice but i'm here for a truck so back to the trucks this one looks promising 2015 chevy silverado has 118 thousand miles salvage title state farm insurance is selling it front end damage they took some of this stuff off i can tell you right now these frames twist pretty fast so i think they salvaged this thing out because the frame went a little bit let me see yep yep i see it this bar is a little higher up and probably these frame rails went inside each other but it's not bad at all any ordinary frame machine can pull this out for sure this is not bad at all if it goes from pretty cheap, I'll take it. Oh yeah, black interior, my favorite. Ah oh, man, that's a bummer. Dash airbag deployed. These dashboards are like 15, two grand. I'm gonna have to pass on this. I'm kind of lazy, don't feel like changing out the dash. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, changing out dashboards is not fun. So I'm gonna have to move on on this one. Another one, we got a 2016 Ford F-150 Crew Cab. Looks really nice. 40k miles state farm insurance again is selling it but i can already see airbag curtain deployed doesn't say much about it, it has the 5.0 4x4 but i'll tell you one thing right now it's got some damage yeah both doors are damaged yeah the center pillar really bad actually this whole thing needs to be pulled out replaced welded painted two doors yeah this is a little too much for me got current airbags deployed the dashboard is good it's not too bad if you got a frame machine you, you know somebody that will do it for cheap it's not bad but too much for for me to handle right now craigslist be like brand new 2018 nissan one owner mint condition zero damage runs and drives awesome I was gonna look at this Ford 4x4. I actually didn't even see it online. It has 81,000 miles, but right when I seen this front end, man, this thing ran into a wall. Look how far back it went. The front end's supposed to be like right here. It went in like a foot. So you know this thing probably be touching the motor. So I don't even feel like lifting up the hood and checking because I already know this thing is messed up. What in the heck is this? Looks like a European or Chinese electric vehicle. It says green van. It has an attached solar roof. Man, is this fully electric? I don't know. Maybe we can start it up and drive it around. It's called Vintage or Vantage. Looks interesting, looks interesting. I wonder how, where's the charging thing for this? What is this? Oh, it's right there. There's like a little charging port, it's broken though. How do I open this? I can't. Oh man, you can tell it's super cheap. Just the door handles are like from the 80s or something. So I found it and it's called a 2011 Vintage Electric Green Van. So yeah, this thing seems kind of sketchy. I am looking for an electric vehicle as a project wise because I've been watching Rich Rebuilds and I'm getting very interested in this electric market, but I don't know, man. This is some Chinese knockoff. It feels like these headlights. I don't know. This whole interior just feels super cheap, very neglected. I don't know about this. Let's get this thing started. So it has a regular key. Oh, something's happening. I hear something turning on back there. Okay, so how do I... Is this started or what? I don't get it. Okay, I just pulled this out for main power on. It says, do not press unless someone is dying. Okay, so I turned it on. This thing is glowing forward. Oh, okay, I see. There's a forward and reverse button right there. Let's see, you think it's gonna go? Oh my gosh, it's actually moving. What the heck? Oh my gosh, stop. Oh my goodness. Reverse. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah, there's something wrong with the brakes. The brakes don't work. Oh, that's why the e-brake was on. Oh man, this thing is so sketchy, dude. Right when I pull up the e-brake, it goes into neutral. Right when I put down the e-brake, it goes into forward. But the brakes barely, barely work. Okay, 
So I'm gonna drive this thing, see what happens. What was that? Dude, it drives, man. <laughs> what the heck? It heck it drives. Oh man, I, I don't want to floor it because it got a flat tire, but. <laughs> Dude, I feels like I'm back in Ukraine, boys. This is a small little van. I love it. Oh man. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna floor it a little bit. Oh man. <laughs> the brakes, the brakes are so sketch. <laughs> oh my gosh. I almost died. <laughs> oh, this thing is awesome. I'm actually very interested in this. If this goes super cheap, like maybe 500, 800 bucks, why not? Let's check out what's under the hood. Oh my goodness, I can barely open this thing. Oh man, it's rusty. <laughs> what's under here? Oh man, that's the little tiny electric converter. Is this the motor? Doesn't, doesn't look like this is the motor. Looks like this is like the AC, maybe compressor some other little stuff where's the actual motor at it's obviously down here it's probably rear wheel drive right oh yeah okay there you go there's the motor transaxle oh and there's the battery case all the way there man that's actually a pretty big battery for some cheap chinese van yep there's the battery cell man this thing's actually very big here's a little converter over here Huh, this is interesting. It's not as rusty as I thought it was going to be. I don't know, maybe this is a good pro electric project for me to start up. Interesting little thing. Uh, employee right there actually let me drive this thing. It's pretty nice of him. And he actually liked this car right here and he was stating that uh, he was thinking of buying it himself just to you know mess around with. Yeah, so this is the charging port. I don't know, maybe that key actually fits in here and unlocks this. I'm wondering where, where the actual cord is to this because who knows how hard that's going to be to find we also got a third row seating back here i mean technically it'll fit two people comfortably but three i don't know oh there you go easy easy wow so i mean three four five six seven with the driver man that's pretty decent for a little minivan electric minivan and it drives got the solar roof right here it doesn't look like none of them are cracked or broken we got the little converters right there it feels like i know what i'm talking about but i don't i'm not all about these electric vehicles but on every solar panel there's these converters one right here one right here one right here and one right there on each of these four sections i don't know how good this is for charging the battery but the battery is actually full right now so i think it charges it even with the little main switch off not really sure so i just did some research this is a vintage green van from china and california takes these little tiny vans and converts them into full electric vintagevehicles.com but i've just read a bunch of reviews on them and they're stating that these vintage green vans have a lot of issues but and then on the other hand, there's uh, some forum that states it comes with high quality parts. So I'm not really sure. I'm wondering how this solar panel works. I bet it charges up the battery pretty nicely. I mean, look how big it is. This is very interesting to me because I have not worked on anything like this before. And if this goes pretty cheap, why not? You know, buy it, have a e-vehicle as a little tiny daily. I mean, I don't know. I don't know yet. This looks very interesting. I might put this on my buy list man we got a beautiful porsche pana what is that panamera turbo wow this thing looks super nice Let's see if it's damaged anywhere doesn't look like it i already passed by it a couple times and didn't know if i should record anything like this for you guys because you know i'm not all into sports car because it's all about that money money which i don't have much of it but this thing's interesting I'm wondering what's wrong with it so yeah it looks like it's a 2017 porsche turbo it has a rebuildable title 14,000 miles wow love that red interior very nice wow this thing's actually very nice okay so it says vandalism i don't know vandalism featured vehicle run and drive so technically i can start this thing up okay i guess it's right here key not found or key ear don't know what that means okay here's the key hold down 
that marked area. What does that mean right here? Hmm. Hold back at marked area. Marked area. Not starting for me. Maybe the battery's dead, but it just says key not found or, or key error. Not sure, but wow. This thing is super nice. I wonder why it's vandalized. I mean, it does state that it's run and drive, but you know how Copart is. It's gonna state that it's run and drive and it's not going to be. Wow. Would you just look at it? It's like a small little screen right here. I love this red interior. There's like some suede roof liner. <clears throat> wow. 4.0 V8 turbo. Hmm, you wonder what's vandalized about here. Hopefully it's not mechanical. This thing is sitting at 45 grand already. This is a hundred, hundred thousand dollar car. So yeah, I'm a truck driver. I'm not a millionaire guys. This is nice, but way over the top for me. Now this is what I'm looking for. We have a 2018 Toyota Tacoma double cab, the most reliable truck in the world. It says 35,000 miles, State Farm is selling it, and it looks like it's damaged in the front. The actual frame and rebar is all good. Looks like the impact was only a little bit to the front right here. The hood looks good until you get to this place right here. There's a little tiny, I don't know if you guys will be able to tell on camera, a little buckle right there. That means when the impact hit, the hood bent up a little bit. This is not bad. This is savable. This hood is savable. There is a clear bra on here but that's okay all that gets deleted and removed man everything else looks really good it did get an impact on the rear end looks like it was a double collision they ran into somebody somebody else ran into them so i can tell exactly that the frame did bend a little bit so i don't know if you guys can tell right here this one's a little more down than this one actually this one looks the same i don't know i might be wrong yeah i might be wrong the frame might be good here. Let me look at this. Okay, the rear bumper, it's metal, it's right here. It just got hit. Should be good. The frame should be good. The bumper is deleted, but the frame actually should be all right. And I love this color. I actually rebuilt a Tacoma like this. It was a 2006 model, which I bet this truck's gonna go for like 15 grand though. None of you guys are gonna be overbidding me, but I'm gonna bid on this one 100%. Oh yeah, I love this. Look at this brown half leather half fake suede type of deal do you think this thing starts i think it would does why wouldn't it should i risk it wow starts right up that's a toyota for you this ain't no german car pre-collision system malfunction visit your dealer that's cool bro um dang it actually told you there was a collision look at that there's like a little button flashing <laughs> Man, this thing is nice. No airbags deployed. Oh man, should I even post this video? All you guys gonna be bidding me up on this thing? Dude, I love it. I'm just joking guys. I'm not gonna be bidding on this thing. So don't bid on it, okay? Just don't bid on it. We got another two Facebook Marketplace cars. We got a brand new Subaru right here. Never damaged, never touched. One owner, only has a million and a half mileage, runs and drives great. And then we got a Kia right here. Has zero fire damage, nothing wrong with it. It goes for about six grand. This is a great, great deal. We got one of the new model Honda Sonata with uh, looks like, a, uh, what is that, a 40 cal? Yeah, bullet holes. Anybody die in here? Let's check for blood um oh yeah look at that the bullet even went through here did it go through the other side doesn't look like there's an exit hole anywhere on this side so probably landed somewhere in there probably evidence you know cops probably have that somewhere but this is not bad actually i mean couple bullet holes here and there that won't hurt nobody this thing is complete not even wrecked much wow we have a nice gmc sierra right here 109,000 miles that's what it states on the window but i'm looking on my app i put it in it says lot no longer exists so i don't know man computers lie it exists look it's right here so i don't know something's not right maybe it's not even ready for sale oh yeah my favorite black interior man this thing is actually very nice very very nice oh it smells like an ashtray up in here all right i'm good oh we got a nice little toyota forklift dually these things are actually very nice does it have gas in there you guys want me to start it i know how to operate a forklift i got my license for everything oh yeah this is heavy duty my friends 
Start her up. What the heck? We got some Nissan keys up in here. This ain't no Nissan, this is a Toyota. What the deuce? Nah, there's something, something wrong with it, this thing. Yeah, there's something wrong with it. We got another Craigslist car. Brand new, never touched, one owner. Oh yeah, if you guys remember this Peterbilt, it's still here. This is a 2009 Peterbilt 389. It has half a million miles and it is a day cab. But what sucks about this, in Florida, we have a thing called Certificate of Destruction. This one is not salvage or clean, it's a Certificate of Destruction. So legally, it cannot be registered in Florida. But, you know, everybody knows there's a way around it. Just get a Kentucky title, blah, 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 redo it. And it's a clean title, bam. But yeah, this one's not bad, but what sucks about it is the day cab is smashed right there, the little flare, but I mean, it's doable, but half a million miles, 2009, is it worth it? I don't think so. You could buy it for parts, but fixing it, I don't know. We got a ladder. Is this ladder for sale? Is there an item number on this ladder? Because you guys will be surprised. They sell some weird stuff on Copart. I don't know if it's a meme or whatever. I've seen this one time. They were selling an office chair for like 10 bucks and people were bidding on it. I don't know if they were memeing or not, but I'm serious. They sell stuff like this at Copart Auctions. If you don't believe me, go ahead and check it out on their website. They sell some weird stuff sometimes. Well, I don't know what to say about this one, except this thing's hot. Bruh, this Stingray is still here. Still hasn't sold. What is going on? I guess people, you know, figured out it is winter time now, so nobody's buying out these boats anymore. Oh yeah, what a beautiful day in Florida. It's 70 degrees, feels so good in Florida, right when the sun starts going down, it's such an awesome breeze. Six months out of the year in Florida, it is the best. The other six months is hell, but right now, it's awesome. Here's my next on the list, Super Duty 2014 F250, and this one, is a flood water damage what is kind of sketchy about it is insurance is not selling it and it's not actual mileage copart states that it has 48,000 miles but it says not actual so something's fishy about it and it has a kentucky title interior smells good but actually you know doesn't smell misty very clean carpets uh obviously something's taken apart right here the center console is deleted it's not here something is wrong this little display just started blinking all of a sudden so there is uh obviously some oops that was my bad i don't know man let's try to start it looks very clean doesn't look like it's wrecked anywhere there is a crack in the tail light there's actually water right there in that tail light oh bro we got power Oh my gosh. Let's check it out. Okay, the engine's here. Perfect. That was a weird noise. Let's start it back up. Or is, or is that how they sound? There's no way that's supposed to sound like that. Well, <clears throat> flood damage. No thank you. So I looked at some other trucks off camera because I don't want you scavengers to, you know, overbid me on some of these trucks I've looked at. So sorry guys, some of them are gonna be off camera. I should have put that blue one off camera, uh, that Tacoma, because that thing was actually super nice. I know it's already gonna go for a big price, but might as well buy it. It's barely wrecked and it's so worth it. And I think I'm gonna break my rule of not actually buying a Mercedes car because there's this one Mercedes I need to look at. Okay. I'm not gonna get ahead of myself, but this thing is a 1990 Mercedes 190E 2.6 liter. Yeah, old, old Mercedes. But why I like this one is I used to buy a lot of donation cars and D is, probably stands for run and drive, but I think it stands for donation. And we have 84,000 miles. This interior is very mint, very mint condition. Look at that, nice and soft. Oh yeah, this thing smells so good. Man, it is in actually really good condition for almost a 30 year old car. Can you guys believe it? I'm so glad the seat is not ripped because all these older cars, they rip and then the interior becomes garbage. But I am very interested in buying this car. 
it's actually very decent shape you can tell it just needs a little cleaning here and there and it might be sitting somewhere oh man this thing is super nice super nice oh yes i don't mind buying something like this and just restoring it or something let's see if it starts what we got is one key come on give me some power baby oh man there's no power we do got a battery in here and it looks um fairly new man maybe it's just flat for sitting for so long look at that straight six wow noise it's got a little bit of oil in there looks pretty clean actually hmm so i can't get this thing started but it could be just a flat battery could be over exaggerating i'm not really gonna risk it because it's too old but very good condition if it does if it did start i would have bought it that's it guys for my copart adventure for today i've checked out a lot of cars in this week's slot it's actually going to be playing monday so it's very exciting i love bidding on cars even if i don't buy them it's like the thrill of click 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 uh at least you bid somebody up and that's the thrill i get but 100 percent i'm gonna be buying and bidding on a truck so stay tuned for that video and hopefully i buy it for cheap i'm not gonna tell you which one i'm actually gonna bid on because you know scavengers and all that you guys are gonna see my video and bid me up on purpose you do see that happen and oh look at this view i love it feels like i'm back in arizona with all this gravel and dirt okay guys i appreciate it for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Keep up with my rebuild video on my Volvo 2019 Volvo semi truck that I am rebuilding and I will get done very soon. Right after I get a cab, there's a big surprise coming up. I don't want to tell you right now. A lot of episodes are about to start coming out. So thank you guys so much. Support me by buying my merch. I got a bunch of merch out and shirts here and there. I might even start selling pants. I don't know. A lot of you guys love my shirts. So I appreciate it for supporting my channel like that. And if you guys like, please subscribe and enjoy. Deuces.